Now a family who lost a son in Parkland school shooting is touring around the U.S. and tonight they stopped in Nashville. They're trying to bring more awareness about gun violence. Our Danielle Jackson tonight is here in studio. Danielle, what can you tell us? Maurice and Tracy, right now there's a collaboration of art, activism and awareness through this project in the Wedgwood Houston District of Nashville. Lean on me when you're strong and I'll be your On the line of Merritt Mansion, 30,000 strips of orange fabric representing all the children killed by gun violence since the Sandy Hook tragedy. Gun violence affects us all in every community. It affects all of us. And this fabric that's here, this orange fabric that's here, is the literal thread that connects us all. Connecting pain, loss, and now changed through an art exhibition for healing, but also transformation. Jacqueline Von Elderberg is an artist and activist from Chicago. She started this work of art days after the Highland Park shooting last year. What we've done is we've taken the entire Highland Park Arts Memorial and we've brought it here to Nashville to spark an arts memorial. It's called Up in Arms, pieces painted in the color orange, which represents gun violence prevention awareness. Inside of the mansion, art displays representing the pain of gun violence, including hundreds of handwritten messages. A yellow school bus sits in the middle of the exhibit. One of those memorials that represents all victims is not, it's not only about a specific place. Uh, it started in Highland Park, but here we are in Nashville. Manuel and Patricia Oliver lost their son, Joaquin, during the Parkland school shooting in 2018. They're now driving this bus to cities impacted by gun violence. He was very funny, very determined, very enthusiastic, very focused, and capable to do whatever he has in his head. These parents will never get their son back, but they're now on a mission to make sure change happens so no other person has to endure their pain. We need to sacrifice part of our free time to make others understand that we are going through this. It's more important for people that has not been affected to get involved because you're the lucky ones mm -hmm. than for us to do it. The invitation is for everyone. Curators of the art exhibition say this is a nonpartisan art installation that speaks to the heart of humanity. And we are speaking in one voice to say, please, we are begging you for kind, compassionate, responsible, reasonable gun legislation. Mm. And you can check out this art exhibit through August 12th at the Merritt Mansion. The bus tour next stop is in Sandy Hook in Connecticut, Tracy and Marius. Very powerful story. Absolutely. And it was the, truly amazing. Uh, oh, mm. and we are the lucky ones. They are so wow. right. It's time for everybody to get involved. Danielle Jackson, thank you. Mm.